Okay, this will be a challenging one. It's very dark. It's a very dark original. So let's see if we can make it look really nice. <coughs> Sorry. Even though I don't have a cold or a flu, sometimes I get my throat gets congested for some unknown reason. Don't know why. And I sometimes sneeze as well. So, well, what, what can I say? <laughs> now I think we're going to have to remove some background from this. It's really dark. I don't want to remove too much. I hope I'm not removing too much. It's got to still look nice. And the contrast is only going to go up slightly. I'm going to still lighten it even though... Actually, we're going to keep it at zero. I'm hoping we can use this original also as a master copy to finish off the job because if we make a dual, a second generation copy, this may not turn up quite as nice. So it's a very dark original. I want to try and make, allow most of that essence of it to look really nice, like darkened colours, the nice pattern. We're going to enlarge it, but we're going to have a look at it first. It is... This was cut out of a, um, a Chinese real estate paper. I figured that would be a really nice thing to utilise as a demo. You can see it's really dark in some areas, especially in this print on the back, so you don't want that to come through if you can avoid it. So we're just going to put this against the corner. This is going to be a tricky one, I think. Unfortunately, we've got a bit of an edge. It was cut crookedly. It's very hard to cut things straight as you'd like them to be. So that they'll reproduce accurate so you can make really nice accurate repros anyway we're going to go here and I'm going to try and guesstimate how big this one is so we're going to go 340 for the horizontal and for the vertical we're going 380 so the little bubbles are going to be elongated along the vertical by the looks of things. Okay, let's see how we go with it. See if we can make this one turn up a treat. Or maybe this will be a too hard one. We'll soon find out. Oh, I didn't like the sound of that click. Let's see how this looks. Whoa, it still looks it looks good and it looks like that edge is not is neither here nor there you can't you can just make it out just probably a little bit there maybe but it looks still looks good so I think wondering if we can make it smaller or make it the same size but you can see it is very dark it is dark so I'm wondering what we're going to do to it next so we're not going to the enlargement but we're going to go and we're going to try uh, maybe remove some more background you can see that you can just see the printers dots as well they were quite apparent in the image so we just removed we're just doing a massive background removal on this and see what happens it still looks quite nice you can still see see the little bubbles so let's see how we've made it right it's a little bit better defined i think you can see it's better defined than this. So we're just going to put that one aside. And these little bubbles. So I'm wondering which side's going to go to the mirror, to the edge. We're just going to put it like this. So we're just going to see if I'm going to make up my mind if we're going to work on this further or keep it like that. It, it, I don't know if I really like it because it's that dark. It's really dark. We're going to go and press on with it, so to speak. Literally speaking, press on, get it? Press on, press the buttons. Oh, funny, sick, horrible. I know, photocopier humour. Don't know what's worse, toilet humour or photocopier humour. I think more people like toilet humour than, than photocopier humour for some reason. I think there are more people who get it when it comes to toilet humour. So a lavatorial joke is a lot easier to understand. I think it's a thing that everyone understands pretty much. Toilet humour is very easy to understand, whereas photocopier humour, well, maybe not that easy a lot of the time. 
especially when you especially when it's technician jokes jokes intended for technicians rather than the average people and maybe press on is is quite an easy one to get <laughs> it's not quite as bad as a riddle i can't do riddles they have riddles on on nova fm in in sydney if you're not in sydney that's one of our radio stations and they have it they have a segment on riddles and i just can't get the fucking riddles i understand the riddles at the end of it when they've given the answer but trying to get me to work out what the fucking riddle is is another question i can't do it i just can't do riddles i just don't understand them i just can't get them i'm no good with puzzles actually i think maybe that explains why i absolutely hate puzzles i just can't do them sudoku crosswords i know i know a lot of big words but i still don't feel com- confident with crosswords it's so hard they're really hard puzzles are really hard now this is not looking too good this is being a bit of a puzzle in itself not being able to line these up properly because of the curling is so bad sorry guys i've let you down again with this i don't know why there's always one fucking corner that has to lift so high it just de- defies any kind of effort to fix it honestly i just have no fucking i hate this this is such a good design and yet a fucking the fucking curling is beyond my fucking um control at this stage i don't know why it happens even when i take precautions against it so now we've made this uneven shit fuck damn this fucking i knew this would happen i didn't think it was going to be this fucking bad but i think we can call it quits even though it looks shit from the point of view the presentation's not good but you get what it is